I don't know what it is, but I've always been attracted to scenes like this. You know, perhaps I should have been a bit of a painter, but bearing in mind I can't even draw a straight line, I guess we'll just have to stick with Photoshop. So what we're going to do with this picture is transform it into one of these sort of images, which are like a sketch effect with a colour wash style painterly effect to make a start. Or should I say, before we make a start, just looking at the picture, you can see there's some sort of quite dense shadow areas in this picture. So let's correct it first of all. Working on the background layer, we're simply going to go to Image, Adjustment, dropping down to Shadow and Highlights. That opens the Shadow and Highlight dialog box. They're the defaults. I've got the Show More Options ticked as well. So just going to drop that lot down. Going to move the amount across a little bit to round about that area there. Now playing with the tonal width and just moving the tonal width. And you can see as we move this, it brightens the image up, it brings through the tones. Nice, looks pretty good there. Again, the radius, just playing with the radius. And you can see the way the radius sort of pops in and out, just taking this to the left. So we've taken the tonal width to the right, the radius to the left. The highlight's going to drop this down. You'll notice as we bring it down, only a small amount, we can get some more detail out of the highlights in the building there. Again, the tonal width. And it's quite literally just playing with it until we find the settings that work both with the tonal width and with the radius. And we're just, just going to take the colour correction up a touch or two to let's have a look. That area there looks pretty good. Just switching off the preview, the before, the after. We'll go with that. Right, it's going to duplicate this layer twice. So using Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC. Twice, there it is there. We've got our two layers. To the top layer, we're going to give this a sketch effect. We're going to go to the filter. We're going to drop down to blur. We're going to go to smart blur. With smart blur from the mode, we're going to select edge only. Leaving everything else on the default, we're going to click OK to that. This is now going to apply the smart blur with the edge. You can see it's racing across. All of a sudden, it's going to go pop. In it comes. We've got black background, white outlines. So we need to invert it by using Control I or Command I on a Mac. There is our sketched effect. Right, just switching this off, clicking on this layer here. I want to put in a new empty layer, but I, if I put in a new empty layer by simply clicking on this icon now, it's going to go immediately above it. To put it beneath, in other words, between layer 1 and the background layer, I'm going to hold down the Control or the Command key, now click on it, and it pops directly between the two. We're going to come across to the toolbox. We're going to pick up the eyedropper tool, where they put it. There it is there. And we're going to pick a colour from the stonework, something like that. There it is, the foreground colour. Looks pretty good. To put the foreground colour, and we're going to fill layer 2 here, so just switch layer 1 off for a second, but working on layer 2, going to use the Option Delete, that's Option Delete on a Mac, that's Alt and Backspace on a PC, we'll fill this with that colour, the foreground colour we picked. Right, going to go to Filter, Texture, Texturizer, we'll bring up the Texturizer dialog box, I'm just going to take the scaling down a little touch or two and the relief down a little bit as well. Something like that looks pretty good. Just allowing for the, the size of the image. Just applying it in it pops. And if we zoom into 100%, you see there's the texture effect. Looks pretty good so far. Right, now for the fun part. Let's switch this image on. Let's make sure we're working on layer 1. What we're now going to do is we're going to go to Filter, Blur. Being as we're in France for this scene, we're going to go to Gaussian Blur. We're going to click on that. And the radius we're going to take all the way up. You'll notice what did I have there, 19 points something. You want that sort of, you know, when you really sort of crunch your eyes closed a bit, that sort of blurry effect. Pretty good, 19.3. It will depend on the file size you're working on. But that sort of effect is what we're looking for. Click OK to that. Next, Image Adjustment dropping down to Hue Saturation. With the Hue Saturation dialog box coming to the Saturation slider, clicking on this, dragging it over to the right. And as we drag it over, you'll notice the colour's getting brighter. Something into that area there. We've got plus 20. Click OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the blend modes. Now, playing with the blend modes, if I just press V on the keyboard, we've got the Move tool. You can now use the Shift plus to scroll through the various blend modes. This is Shift and Plus with the Move tool selected. 
I'm going to drop down to something like just coming down to hard lights there looks pretty good and still with the move tool it works if I just press 7 on the keyboard you notice it takes the opacity to 70% I like that that's beginning to look pretty good as it is but we're going to take this a stage further I'm just going to duplicate this layer using command J or control J on a Mac I'm going to click on layer 1 and we're going to change the blend mode of this layer to color and that gives a subtle difference in the coloring of the image you can see the way that's coming through there quite nicely that's it on its own and if you just switch them on and off there's the two working together right next job we're going to switch on our sketch layer here we're working on this layer and again this is where the fun can begin because we're going to change the blend modes once again to multiply nice effect beginning to come through there nicely like that in fact let's zoom in a little bit take a closer look around like that worth applying the overlay blend mode gives a nice sort of pastel effect dropping down to soft lights again you see you've got that washed out effect there that's really the sort of effect that we're after so let's zoom out a bit further let's see which one we're going to run with with soft lights there overlay I think we're going to go for this particular image we're going to go with soft lights I like the effect that's having okay one thing I'm not particularly keen on find the cyans here just a little bit too uh, strong so we're going to drop down to the adjustment layers we're going to pick up our hue saturation dialog box we're going to come up in CS4 we're going to click on our little finger with the arrow through it using any other version I think we're pretty safe in saying that you can select cyan from the drop down menu let's click down yes it is in fact cyan and with this now we're going to come to the hue slider if we move the hue slider you can see the way we can change the color of our canopy you can have a nice blue canopy have whatever canopy color you want I'm going to go for take it to a red I think I'll go something like a yellow would be pretty good you'll notice it changes all the other colors as well which is in that color range of cyan but I think that looks good just about there bringing the cursor out clicking down we've now got the greens you can move this across perhaps sort of increasing the saturation or decreasing should I say the saturation in the greens there perhaps even changing them more into the blue areas that could look pretty good again by adjusting the hue slider and like that so let's just take a look and you can see the difference that's making there again the whole thing with this it's completely adjustable right the way through you can switch off these blend modes you can see the way they're working you can switch that back on again you might even want to switch that blend mode off and just have a real sort of color wash effect to it really is entirely up to you which direction you go in the whole thing is about experimenting taking this a stage further we want to put all these layers into one new empty layer now here's a great shortcut it is command it is option it is shift and it is E which is control alt shift and E clicking it down all three buttons together one two three four buttons together thank you put it into one new layer we're going to go to image adjustment we're going to go to match color we're going to click on neutralize you can see it's taken any color cast out of the image but sometimes color cast can be good so let's just move it across there's the before just going to drop this back a touch or two there so we just got a little bit coming in there bringing the color intensity up a little bit bringing the luminance up you can see the way the luminance brightens up the image you can take that up click OK to that let's take a look when it's finished so there's the before there's the after you can see we've just taken the tones down slightly zooming in there's our painterly effect don't forget the whole thing with this it's completely adjustable you can even come in with the soft lights there you can reduce the sketch effect down just to give a little bit more of a washed out look to it I like the effect of that the whole thing with this is playing until you find an effect that works well with the image that you're working on so go on give it a try until the next time happy imaging and take care